Who are the women who smell the best in the world? Is it the French, the British or someone else? Well, keep watching this video and you will know. Hello, hello and welcome to Skincare Simplified. My name is Nipun, your skincare bestie and today we're taking a deep dive into another very important part of personal grooming and beauty and that is fragrance. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the women who smell the most fragrant, the most beautiful in the entire world and I'm going to give you the full fragrance ritual, so keep watching. Before we get started with the video, let me remind you, the September giveaway is on. Two lucky subscribers are going to win skincare box sets worth 500 dirhams or 10,000 rupees. So hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You will see questions throughout this video on the screen. All you need to do is give me your answers in the comments below. Now let's get started. So I have traveled over 20 countries and I can tell you with complete guarantee that the women who smell the most beautiful are the Arab women. When I moved to Dubai, the first very thing that I noticed was whether I was in a lift where an Arab woman just walked in or whether I was in a mall and I passed by a local lady there was a beautiful scent that not only was on her, but it kind of lingered on to the entire area. That got me super inquisitive to figure out what is so special about their perfume. Now, I knew for a very long time that they use very intense perfumes, but was it just the intense perfume or was it something else? And believe you me, it is something else and I'm going to tell you what it is. Now the base fragrance that makes all oriental fragrances so very special is Oud. This is an ingredient that actually comes from the bark of a tree which is the Oud tree and the highest quality Oud tree is actually found in India. Yes, it is found in the forests of Assam. It is the Indian Oud which is super super premium. It is the gold standard of all Oud. It is the bark of the Oud tree that has this amazing oil that is extracted to uh, create the oud that forms the base of the perfume. Now oud is a super strong ingredient and has been used for over a hundred or perhaps over five six hundred years in the Arabian culture. However it is not just now popular in this culture many many popular brands, niche fragrances, super expensive brands like Kerlan, Tom Ford, uh, so many others now have variants of oud in their fragrances. It is a woody, strong note that actually makes every perfume super, super delicious. But the Arab men and women don't just smell so good because they spray a strong perfume like the Oud perfume, it's not that. They actually have an entire fragrance ritual which includes a very special ingredient called Bukhur. Now Bukhur has different forms, I'm going to show you one. One are these wooden chips, okay? So the chips that come from the bark of the tree, the Oud tree, are actually soaked into perfumed oil. And then you get chips like these. Or they create another version of it. The second thing that is used is bukur, which comes in tablet form. Now this is basically crushed wood, different kind of raisins, soaked in essential oil, and you literally need the tiniest amount to go onto your burner. And this is used to perfume the clothes, in addition to the oud chips that I showed you. So bukur really comes in two versions. You have the oud chips, you also have the crushed tablets. There is another one for the home and I'm going to show you that right at the end. But this is basically what they use. Now let me show you how they use it and this is actually the most magical thing that gets your clothes, your hair, like literally every part of you to smell like a royal princess. Now this stand is called the Makbara. This is basically a very beautiful stand on which you actually put a piece of heated coal. Now on this piece of heated coal, are you going to put your oud chips and you will see an amazing smoke of fragrance arise from it in like a second. I've got a little piece of bukur that I am actually going to place on top of the coal right here and you will see this amazing smoke to start. Now what is usually done is women, the first thing, and this is the first part of the fragrance ritual, when their hair are wet, mine are dry, but they actually take it like this, they keep it close to the hair, well, uh, at a good distance so you don't burn your hair or hurt yourself, but basically the wet hair soak up all of this fragrance and this literally gets your hair to smell fantastic through the day. 
or actually a couple of days. The second thing is they actually, you know, keep it like this near their clothes. Now this way the clothes are catching on to the fragrance as well and your clothes are getting perfumed. And this means that even when your clothes, you take them off, you hang them in your wardrobe, you put them anywhere else, they are going to have this amazing fragrance. There is this beautiful hack that a friend of mine, she's a local Emirati girl, she taught me. She said, just take this, places in your wardrobe in a good place that you know obviously you don't want to burn your clothes and this is hot coal but you place it in your wardrobe and your entire wardrobe has the most amazing fragrance ever now this one uh, the bakur that i'm using right now is from a brand called exotic hair Oud. it is a woman-run family business of over 50 years here in the uae and they hand make all of these products and they, this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance the notes of the fragrance that I'm using currently are rose and amber in addition to oud but the key notes are rose and amber and this is a generic note that literally goes well with all your fragrances so this is the one that I'm using all details about exotic oud what they do how do what is the amount of prices whatever will all be in the description box and you know the good news is they ship to India they ship to Pakistan and they have like really good offers so you can check all of that but basically this is your book now you all know that hair perfumes have been a huge thing since 2018 pretty much every leading brand right from Dior uh, Carolina Herrera Guerlain all of them are coming with their versions of hair perfume but you know what the problem with the hair perfume is and I love it and I own so many but there's a problem in heat and humidity they last on your hair for literally two hours and then it's all gone and your hair are back to smelling like normal now the hack or it's not really a hack it's a part of the Arabian or the Arabic culture which is hair perfume and this is what it looks like this is also from exotic oud their hair perfume it comes with a beautiful wand like this like super super bougie you basically dip your wand into the perfume and you take it to the roots of your hair like so now again this is best done when your hair are wet mine are dry as i'm shooting the video but you literally take a little bit onto the roots of your hair it is a hair oil but trust me this will not make your hair greasy i get my hair oily like every two days and this doesn't make it more oily or less oily it your hair will behave how it normally behaves so this doesn't make your hair oily you just use a little bit on the roots and then i just take the remaining ones on my hair like a serum and oh my god this scent will not leave you till you wash and the longest i have gone without a hair wash is three days and the scent literally stays it is an amazing amazing thing it lasts way longer the payoff is so much longer than your hair perfumes and this is so much cheaper than your hair perfumes this retails for about one uh 199 or 299 god i'm confused i'll put it in uh I'll put it on the screen somewhere but this i know definitely is way cheaper than all of your other hair perfumes the payoff is better and this will last you a really really long time now let's come to the third part of the ritual and that's actually using a perfume oil now you've all seen these hacks on tiktok instagram all over youtube apply a little vaseline then spray your perfume it's gonna last longer or mix your perfume in your body lotion lotion and it's going to be great but Believe you me, nothing works as well as using a dab of this oil on your pulse points. I like to use it obviously on all of my pulse points. This is a roll on, so it's super uh, easy, absolutely non messy. And the scent, oh my God, guys, this is oud based, but this is not strong. Now I know a lot of fear when people think of oud is that oh, I'm gonna faint, it's so strong. But you really have to do your own research work with the ingredient see where what are the versions or what are the variants of the fragrance where you can actually get the fragrance that you like so when i came uh, to dubai and i was new and i was trying to figure out oud and i went to so many places to a lot of local shops trying to buy oud fragrances a lot of them were too strong and then as i went on did my research tried different things i actually figured out the notes that work with me best it's a little bit of oud it's a lot of rose and amber or it's a lot of patchouli and these are the notes that that the notes that work best with me so this is the third part of the ritual which is using a fragrance oil on your pulse points and then my friends then apply 
any perfume that you like and you are going to smell like an Arabic princess or an Arabic prince. This is the third part of the ritual which is super super effective when you want to smell great all day long, all night long for days together. That doesn't mean you don't shower. Showering is important. But this is the three-step ritual that uh, you know local Arabs follow, men and women, because fragrance is a huge part of their culture. It is very, very intrinsic, uh, you know, and there's so many ways in which they express it culturally. So fragrance is key to the Arabic culture, and this is what they do. This is the three-step fragrance ritual of the Middle Eastern people. Now, before we get uh, to the end of the video, let me show you one little hack that is actually for the home. And that is my favorite hack when it comes to this fragrance ritual. And I want to share it with you all. So I showed you the oud chips. I showed you the bufkur. Now let me introduce you to their cousin, which is actually this. It is Luban. Now Luban actually uh, is frankincense. It comes from the frankincense tree. It is a raisin that the tree releases and you get like little round things like this. This is again soaked in oud, in essential oils. This is beautiful. Now this actually has a cultural significance and that is that this is known to ward off evil eye, purify the air, super, super good for sort of uplifting the overall vibes of your hair. This one uh, of your hair, no, of your home. <laughs> this is also from exotic oud. This is notes of amber and patchouli i believe and this is beautiful so what i like to do at least once a day in my home is this i take my trusted makhbara and i add to it one piece of luban actually i don't need such a big piece but this is what came through it's a bit sticky yeah i just place it here like so and the scent is gorgeous i can still use it for my hair i don't know you know as this burns it kind of smells a little bit like fruit it's fruity floral, uh, floral brilliant fragrance and you know while they said that this is good for your home not just for the fragrance also from you know purifying the air keeping away evil eye all of those things we all need a little bit of that so this is the third or the fourth part of my home fragrance ritual that i need that i do and by the way i am a big fragrance junkie like i know i've been talking of skincare on this channel but i'm a huge fragrance junkie and i have a home fragrance ritual so if you guys want to see my obsession with candles, rediffusers, uh, bukur, all of this, let me know. I'm going to drop a whole video on my home fragrance ritual. But this is what, uh, this is the third or the fourth thing that they also use in their homes. And this is super, super beautiful. Now this, my friends, brings me to the end of the video, the video on the women who smell the best in the world, but actually it's also the men. The men also smell very, very good because they actually follow the exact same ritual, except for maybe the hair oil. I'm not sure if they use the hair oil, but definitely the bakur, the, uh, you know, the concentrated perfume oil, the pre of perfume. This is something that I know that Arab men also use and they all smell very, very good. So. Coming to the end of the video, this is a different one that I have done. Let me know how you like it. Let me also know if you want to see my perfume home ritual or my home perfume ritual. We'll find it a fancy name. Give me a name. Give me a suggestion. Leave it in the comments below. Also, you would have seen questions uh, through the screen throughout this video. They are the giveaway questions. They are all skincare related. So give me your answers in the comments below. I will be announcing the winners on the 30th of September. Until next time, take care. Do subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share it with someone that you like. Also remember, I'm going to be linking my playlist, How to Skincare, that literally has every single video on all of your common skincare questions, concerns, etc. I will now see you on Wednesday. Yes, I make videos three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. So this is Sunday. I'm going to see you on Wednesday. Until then, take great care of yourself. I love you all so much. Bye.